Welcome back to my workshop. Now in today's video, I'm gonna talk about some lasering stuff, and in particular, I'm gonna talk about honeycomb beds. Now, I've managed to get hold of a honeycomb bed. Uh, full disclosure, this is bought with my own money. I haven't been sponsored by anybody. Uh, but this is a honeycomb bed from Sculpt Fun. Uh, I've already got a Sculpt Fun laser. Uh, so I bought a Sculpt Fun honeycomb bed. Uh, so what is a honeycomb bed? Why do we need it? And do they actually work? So let's get started. So this is the honeycomb bed I've got uh, from Sculpt Fun. Uh, it comes like this. I've literally not even got it out of the box yet. Uh, it's packaged nicely by the looks of it. Nice bit of foam, which we can use later. Uh, you get some pads. These are little sticky pads. I think these are to stop your uh, the bed moving around. Uh, and what you get is this. Okay, so it's basically a bed. Oh look, it's got the sculpt fun. Uh, with a honeycomb of metal, okay. Looks very nice, very pretty. Uh, it's got a scale in metric along the bottom here and a scale in metric along the side here. Okay, what else do you get? You also get a sheet of aluminium. Okay, this is obviously to go on your work surface to protect your work surface. Okay, and that's it. That's what you get. Right, so why do we need a honeycomb bed? Well, the basic idea is if you're cutting through a piece of material, like very thin piece of material, and you're actually cutting all the way through, uh, what you need is the piece to be supported, but you don't want it to be flat on a surface because when the laser goes through, it'll hit the bottom and then it'll burn backwards. Uh, let me draw you a little demonstration. Right, so here we are in the uh, Frank's Little Workshop Design Studio, which is a whiteboard. Uh, what I'm gonna do is give it to this first. Right, so when you're lasering, uh, what you normally have is a flat base, okay? And we'll use that as our flat base. And you have your laser. Okay, that's our laser. And you put your material, so if you've got a piece of material like this, you put it on your flat base, okay? Like this. Simple enough. So when you start lasering, if you're cutting all the way through, obviously the laser is going to cut through, but then when it gets to this material, okay, which is your solid base, when it hits that material, it changes density or it'll be harder for it to cut through. So basically what happens is you end up with flashback. Okay, at this point here, you end up with flashback. Okay, and what that does, it actually burns the underside of your piece of wood or whatever you're cutting through. Now that's not a very good idea. So the idea of a honeycomb laser is it raises it above the flat surface. So let me draw you that. Okay, so what I've drawn here is basically what this looks like. Okay, you can see through it. Okay, but it's actually supported by these little fins. Okay, these honeycombs. So what that will do is that will give you this sort of array. So it's supported, but only in little places. Okay, so what happens when you put your workpiece, this piece, onto the bed, like this. Okay, then you start cutting it. As soon as you cut through it, instead of it hitting a surface there, it'll pass all the way through, okay? So then that means you've got none of the flashback here, which means it won't burn backwards, okay? That's the basic principles. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly do a couple of cuts, one cut on a piece of material on a flat surface, and then exactly the same settings, same power, same speed, but on the honeycomb and we'll see if there's any difference. Okay, so the basic setup I've got here is my Sculpt Fun S9, which is a nine watt laser. Uh, I've got my laptop and I'm running Lightburn software. Okay, 
fairly simple setup. You may have something similar. Now it doesn't matter in this case, it doesn't matter what laser you have. It's just that I happen to have this one. Uh, you could have any of the other leading brands. It'll all be the same. The principles are the same. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly set up an experiment on light burn, just to cut a, a small square out of a piece of wood uh, like this. We're gonna do three cuts. The first cut is gonna be on my normal sacrificial board. The second cut is going to be on the aluminum sheet they supply, which is reflective. And then the third cut is going to be on the honeycomb. Okay, so let's quickly set up a basic experiment. Okay, so as I said, we're using Lightburn software, so we're going to open that quickly. Uh, and once that's open, all we got to do is create a little square. Now what I'm going to do is select that square, draw a rough square, and then change the dimensions to 35 by 35. Okay, that'll give us a little square. It doesn't have to be that particular size, but that'll do. Uh, now I'm going to put it roughly in the middle somewhere, just so I can have that in the middle of the table. Then the settings I've got is, I've got it set for 250mm per minute at 100% power. Uh, so I think that's what it's needed to cut through this material in three passes. So that's my basic setup. So I'm ready now to frame it and then do our cut. Okay, so this first cut, what we need to do is first of all, frame our piece that we're going to cut. So it's basically finding out whereabouts it's going to sit. Okay. Set our workpiece. Focus our laser. Okay, frame it again, just to make sure I'm still in the right place. Okay and then literally push the go button. But first of all, let's put on some super glasses. Okay, so now it's our first piece. Uh, as you can see, it's cut through it nice and cleanly, but it's burnt around the edges. Okay, so let's do the second experiment now, uh, where we're going to put our sheet of aluminium down. Okay, don't forget when you're cutting, always make sure you have your extraction turned on. Uh, I didn't, and it got a bit smoky. Right, let's lay this down. Okay, so we've now got a nice reflective surface. Uh, what we need to do, because there's additional thickness in this, we need to refocus it on our new piece. Okay, so once again, we'll frame it. Okay, focus it. We'll reframe it. Okay, and then we can start the burn. Extraction on. Okay, so that's the second burn done. Oh, let's cut through it. Yeah, actually that's not too bad, just on the shiny surface. Right, let's do our third cut, but now with a honeycomb. Right, let's put the honeycomb in here. Okay, I'm going to leave the aluminium base in place. Okay, now what we better do is raise up our 
laser because obviously that's quite a bit different in size. Uh, we'll hit frame again. Again. Right, refocus. Obviously we need to do this again because the thickness of the honeycomb. Again. And start. Extractor on. Goggles on. Right, extractor off. This is our third cut. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, it's cut all the way through. Right, let's write some words on this before I uh, forget which one's which. Right, let's see if it worked. Right, so it's our three samples cut now. So remember, all of the settings were the same, like the speed and the power was the same. The only thing we changed was the base, okay? So I'll bring you in for a close look and we can see the difference between the first cut, second cut, and the third cut. All right, so the first cut, actually on all three cuts, you can actually see this is the top side. Okay, you can see there is some a little bit of scorching on the top here. Okay, the only way I'm going to get rid of that is possibly by using air assist, which I don't have at the moment. But let's have a look at these. So this is the first one, which was uh, with the basic wooden sacrificial board. Okay, and if we look on the back, if I can get me thumbs out of the way, uh, there's quite a bit of brown scarring. Now, obviously this can be got rid of with a bit of sanding, uh, but that's not very good at all. And the second one was just with the reflective base. Okay, just that was remarkably better. Okay, but you can still see it's actually burned into the fibers of the wood. Okay, so this one, what you're seeing is the burn from the old, uh, the baseboard. This one, there's little burn from the baseboard, but there's still some apparent buildup of heat. And the third one with the honeycomb, Okay, perfectly clean. Now these are all the same piece of wood. Okay, they're all cut from the same piece of wood. Okay, but no burning at all underneath. So that's the important thing. This is the underside. Okay, so it actually works. So the honeycomb is definitely worth getting. Right. Right, so that's just a very quick experiment uh, and it proved the point that actually having a honeycomb, uh, I thought it was going to be a bit gimmicky, but actually having a honeycomb makes a massive difference on how clean your cut is. Uh, the additional benefit with this particular cutting uh, honeycomb board, uh, the actual honeycomb itself looks like it's made of steel because you can actually stick a magnet to it. Okay, so what's the benefit of that? Well, if you've got uh, a piece of material that's slightly flexible uh, or it's slightly twisted, you can actually put it on there and then hold it down with the magnet, okay? So that's a benefit. Uh, you can also get pegs that can hold your workpiece flat. Okay, that's just one additional thing. All right, so all in all, as I say, I bought this with my own money. It's a Sculpt Fun one. Uh, I'm more than pleased with it. It cost me about 50 pounds and that was from, uh, that's UK pounds, and that was from Amazon, uh, which if you just search for Skull Fun Honeycomb, you'll find it. Okay, right, that's enough. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.